Hello, I'm Luke Neller and welcome to Best Replays of the Week. In this episode, we have random team play versus less random team play. Roll out! Jumping straight into the heat of the action with Iceman and their platoon, attempting to salvage a win from a desperate situation. But the ram attempt fails as the Skoda annihilates our platoon mates, before giving up the ghost. <laughs> easy. But this is less than good. Incredible! Iceman fights off the impossible and lands a Hess shell to secure the game with the clock on zero. Well done! Next up we have Ostravska Klobesa challenging some World Tank Smiths on our show. Tank Busters! Myth number one, the flank you're not on always collapses. Yeah, about that. Double confirmed. All right, number two. Bush friend is your best friend. Confirmed. Three enemies in best replays of the week are paid actors. Oh come on! Who will bounce when needed the most? Seriously, who wrote this? They can't be that obvious. And finally. Yeah, I can believe that. GG. Take your myths, memes, and our best you plays of the week style and get out of here. We gotta move on to some games. On Live Oaks, an AMX 30 sets up an ambush. Kyusikio works the ridge line in their mid-tier medium before switching their much needed attention to the friendly TD line in the back. So far, every shell has harmlessly bounced off the sturdy turret. And the Reds have even been resorting to high explosives in order to deal with this French annoyance. Ouch! But that was a big one, stripping Hesikio of any room for error from now on. Especially as not even five minutes in, their base is on the verge of collapsing. This position won't do. The ISU might still be on Overwatch. With backup arriving fast, it's clear this M60 has strayed too far from the safety of his teammates. And while the wreck of a mouse might provide conventional cover, it's no match for the mighty 183mm shell from the FD leaving only the Soul WZ to deal with and even up this game.
even turning it around with impeccable sniping action just outside enemy view range. An advantage that didn't last for long. Shusikyo and their newly formed platoon mate Luxidon have a tough task ahead. Even with the RT out of the way, a single Jagdpanzer E100 shot would seal the fate of either platoon mates. The cap! With the TD's location revealed, the Allies hatch a plan. Shusikyo draws its attention with a decal. As Tom sneaks up behind the steel giant, pincering it between a rock and a hard place. GG. What an awesome display of teamwork by two completely random players, dismantling the final enemy without it even having a chance to fire. Shusikyo dealt 8,855 damage, 8 kills and 1,860 base experience to carry the team throughout the game. Add to that Lexi Tom's 6,300 damage and 5 kills, and this replay definitely proves that random T play is possible. Congratulations! And on steps, a wolf pack of medium tanks set out to dominate. Hell, mood, and energy take to the field in their auto loading Progetto 46s. While Mark 832 speeds off in their CS52 LIS. With the tempo of the game being relentless from the start, the platoon mates push through the enemy lines. But with a formidable red TD line lying in wait, aggressive moves like this one come at a price. However, with a bit of outmaneuvering, the AT-15 is caught off guard and dispatched. And while Hell, Mood and Energy sweep through the base, Mark gives up his tank in a valiant effort to stall the enemies from overrunning the Allied rear. This brief detour racks up another two kills, but crucially leaves Energy exposed. Energy, no! Committing here would just mean one more dead Progetto. Instead, Helmut runs to the hills to soften up the enemy. And you know, Papa Territoire at it. Quick maths. Pew. Wow, what a lucky bounce. Love it, help! With the Polish tank having none of the tag team action, our Italian hero has to give chase. Ouch! This one does not bounce! And with the Lovey too far to help and the WZ being nothing more than a spotting bollard, it's all down to Helmut. Yes! The CS is punished for a rush shot. Come on! One more! Yes! A snap takes care of the CS and Helmut can brighten up. GG. A great game by the entire platoon 1, but especially Helmut, winning the most unlikely one-on-ones. Scoring 6,394 damage, 8 kills and 2,074 base experience, with teammates Mark 832 and Energy adding another 5k damage and 5 kills. This was one dominant game. Congratulations tankers, you are our predetermined platoon of the week. And that's it for this episode. We had two very different platoons going up against each other in a clash for the best replay of the week. But which one will prevail? Will it be Husikyo and Lexitom with a random act of team play? Or Helmut's Wolfpack with a dominant carry? Cast your vote by clicking the link in the description and selecting your favourite. And don't forget to send us your replays. 
Our channel in the official World of Tanks Discord is always open for as many replays as you have. Or if you're old school, more well, replays works too. Of course, episode 123's best replay of the week as voted by you was... Christer87 with an extra 500 gold as a consolation prize for that heartbreak. Congratulations. I'm Luke Nella, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.